So I just did a little video asking men's opinions on dating and whatever. And this right here was such a common response. And if this is how like 80% of men are viewing dating and my negative aspect on dating and how females view it, because we exactly know that this is going on, that men will pretty much why, why settle down if they can get cheated on as opposed to just screwing everyone on the dating apps and not having to put in any time, effort, or pretty much anything that involves an actual long-term relationship. So if men view it this way and then women have their skewed like way of thinking about dating, it's just this vicious negative cycle of dating, and this is why we're all doomed, men and females. Can we change this? A guy replying to her short video and telling her the truth makes her very angry. He says, why should men commit? Men shouldn't even bother to get married if you're giving everything away for free, right? There is no reason to spread your legs for guys who aren't serious about you if you're just sleeping around with them. If you give guys what they want, they don't have to do anything or stay with you, right? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Modern woman gets salty over men not committing anymore. Let's start right away. This is my official announcement that I'm entering my single girl celibacy era because... Dating is horrendous. It's never worked for me. I've tried meeting people in person. I've tried meeting people through others. I've tried dating people I've already known. I've tried Hinge and Bumble and like all the things. Nothing works. And you know what? No matter what you say, like looking for short term, looking for long term, looking for a life partner, blah, 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 whatever. You know what happens? A man reads that. It goes to the retina into their brain and is like casual no matter what you could be like looking for a serious life partner to marry next week casual and when i say apparently let's go out and do something on friday that goes into the man's ear and the way their brain processes that comes out as come over to my house and do me on friday sir i don't need you for that um and that's what your right hand is for so have at her, you know. Anyway, I'll probably be on the apps next week, but this is my vow of celibacy as of right now, so let's see how that goes. The trouble is that there aren't many men in their 30s looking for a life partner, okay? There are better things you could do instead, okay? Of course, we all know that a guy who will settle for a woman in her 30s or 40s is probably not very important to her. As you can see, none of these women want the low-value guy. They want the important guy. It's really strange, right? I don't understand why they wait until they lose power in the dating market, right? When women lose their power over men, they start yelling about how they want a relationship out of the blue. Do you agree? Why did you not talk about this 10 years ago? Are you kidding me? You should have been talking about this in 2010, when you were 20 or 21 years old. Because now is the time, girls. That's when you should pull the gun, right? When you pull the slot machine's button, you have a much better chance of getting sevens. I'm just gonna come out and say it, and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it. Men aren't men anymore. They're not. They're not. There's these little wimpos. There's little running around wimpos in this world. Man up. Man up. So this is just like a for instance, and there's so many instances, and this is in so many aspects of life that men aren't men. So a guy wanted to take me out, and then he was like, "So are you gonna cook dinner for me the first time we hang out?" No. What? What do you think this is? No. I swear they just wanna. They don't want to make the plans. They want to take the easy way out. They want to have drinks, get the job done, do the sex. That's that's what they want. They want easy. They don't want to work for it. And they're not freaking men anymore. And I don't care what you say. You're not going to change my mind. If you're a guy and you want to take a girl out, this is where I'm taking you. This is what we're doing. You make the plans. D like, don't. what do you want to do? None of that bullshit. Make the plan. Make it be great. Show her she's special. And man the... This is the same woman whining about the same thing that happens to her on these dating apps. It's hard for me to compete with women on dating apps who are about half my age because I'm in my 30s and can't find a guy. I also never cashed in my chips. Nearly right. I mean, girls who are 18 to 20 years old are all trying to get the same top 10% of guys. So it goes without saying that those guys are going to work hard at getting those women. They are going to put those women ahead of her. Do you agree? So, you should ask yourself, what were you doing 10, 12, or 13 years ago? You should have cashed it in when you were in charge, when you had older women, and when you were way ahead of older women your own age. Do you agree? Now that you're that old, what did you do back then? 
Why didn't you choose to marry one of these guys? In my okay. early 20s, I started dating the guys with all the options. I can't lie. At first, this definitely did drive me crazy. The first guy I dated like this, I was definitely checking his following, his followers, his snap score, who we met last night. And since then, I have not once allowed myself to check any of that for any man ever again. Because I think I just decided, like, that's great. You have options. So do I. So why would I let myself sit at home and cry because one of my options followed girls? If I see you out of the bar with another girl, good riddance. Take him. I'm not gonna tear myself down because a man can't see my worth, can't see our compatibility. Like he's not as smart as I thought he was then. That's fine, not for me. Like I own a mirror, I'm smart, I'm funny. I have good music taste. I'm an interior designer, I'm like your house a home. I'm good at cooking, what do you want? If it's not that, be my guest. I hope you find what you're looking for. I think a lot of the times as girls, it's really easy to get caught up in these guys that you now have a bunch of other options and start competing and trying to prove yourself. I just will never be chasing a man. I won't ask you to hang out. I won't ask you on dates. I won't text you first. Like if I am not your number one option and you don't want to pursue me, who am I to stop you? In summary, if he doesn't want to make you his only option, then let him go to one of his other options. Who was that person? Everyone knows that his name is Chad and that it starts with a C. Okay. She was like a lot of these women who are still single in their 30s. They were all after Chad. Okay, then. So now she is. There's no doubt that she's past her prime when she talks about how she'll never again let herself do this and put in this much work for a guy. I will never again let a man pick on me, you know. As she ages, she will only get angrier. More of this stressful stuff is only going to pile up on her. This is why guys with a lot of value don't like going out with women. Who have been? That's how it was put after the war, right? Guys, we've already hit the wall. Sorry, man, but this is exactly why I don't like dating women who aren't in their 20s. Because we don't want to deal with the emotional baggage these women have built up from making these odd chats for years and years. So, someone said to me the other day, well, you're still single because you're too picky. Like, shouldn't we be picky when we're looking for that life partner that we're going to spend every waking freaking hour with? Isn't that the whole point? You should be picky, and I think the freaking problem is people aren't picky enough, and then they settle. This is why cheating happens, and this is why you're unhappy in a marriage, and you sleep in separate beds, and this is why divorces happen, and this is why... Don't freaking settle. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not... I'm sure as hell not gonna do it. I'm 32. I'm single, but it's all right. It's all right. We'll get there. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna be picky, and you should too. The girl doesn't look too bad. She could have settled down today if she wanted to. What if she just picked a guy and thought, that's not some Chad, right? She basically just chose a guy and dropped her standards. She might be able to be happy, but... As is often the case with hurt women, they don't want to be happy. Even though they say they want to be happy. It looks like they don't want to be happy, do they? I guess they don't. Do you agree? They'd rather be out there... You know, getting adrenaline hits from the dating apps of a guy who is way out of their league responding to their message and making them think that they look better than versions of themselves that are 22 years old and texting the same guy on dating apps. So on Monday, I started talking to this guy on a dating app and he wanted to exchange numbers right away, which I usually am not open to, but was like, whatever, that's fine. Tuesday, I let him know that I had a terrible day at work and he tells me that he wants to take me out to dinner just to make sure I get something to eat, which is very sweet of him. And I let him know that I really appreciate him and the offer, but I was just too mentally and physically drained from the day. So I asked if he wanted to eat on Friday, which he agreed to. So we're texting Wednesday and Thursday. The conversation's a little bit dry, but I do tell him... The city you live in is the city I work in, so it would be super convenient if you just tell me um, a place and a time to meet you, and I'll just leave straight from work. Which he didn't seem too thrilled with me kind of giving him that option, but um, he still seemed up for it. So it's now Friday, and he texts me at like 2 p.m. saying that he got off work early and he was heading home. And it's like 4 p.m. and I tell him like, hey... I have like 20 to 30 minutes left of work before I head out. Then he tells me he had a really big lunch and that he's not all that hungry, so he offered for me to come over and watch a movie with him before we go out to dinner. 
I very politely tell him, like, thank you for the offer, but I'm not comfortable with that since we haven't met in person. I would love to meet you a little bit later for dinner. So all he responds with is okay. And at this point, I'm in my car using the talk to text feature. And I waited probably, I don't know, like 5, 10, 15 minutes to text him back saying, hey, if you want to meet up and do something else, if you have anything in mind, I'd be open to it. And as I'm driving home, I get a couple phone calls from work, some escalations. So I know when I get home, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work. So I don't check my phone or messages or anything for, I don't know, like an hour and a half. I get done with my work stuff. I look at my phone. The text I sent him doesn't even show that it's been delivered. So my best guess is that he blocked my number. I I go on to the dating app. Don't see his face in the messages, so I'm assuming he blocked me there as well. Interactions like these are the reasons that I'm constantly getting on the dating apps and getting right back off and taking a break from them. Like, I'm really not bothered by this whole interaction that I had with this guy. But it's just like, if all you wanted me to do was go over to your house and watch a movie with you, why didn't you lead with that? I I would have said no still, but like, why didn't you lead with that? By now, you should be able to see that these videos all have something in common. These women who aren't in their prime anymore are still on dating apps and whining that guys won't take them on real dates. Men only want them to do them right when they get there. That's all they need from them right now, right? And they're really mad that these guys don't want to commit, right? They're not willing to work hard. They don't want to give them lots of gifts and care. Not any longer. Okay, then. These guys would have done that at one point. That's why I beg all of you women over 30 not to stay out there. Do you agree? Try your best to find a good guy with whom you can settle down. Also, he might not be 6 feet 4 inches and 225 pounds, which is what a Division YQB looks like. He might just be a nice guy with a great job. 